Curtis here to run through the Gertie Mod Theory for you in two minutes so we can get you back to study for those finals, getting ready for what we have to do for next week in the registry and our clinicals coming up. All right, here it is, Gertie Mod Theory. Do you remember what the 3D image looks like? Good. Now let's look at the components inside of this wonderful, magical little silver bromide crystal. All right, we have a silver atom, we have a bromide atom, we have an interstitial ion, and we also have ourselves a latent image site. Now let's look at those things individually for a second before we get started on our Gertie Mod Theory. First of all, our silver atom. Our silver atom says, hey, you know what, I don't want this electron anymore. Get rid of that electron, you know what happens? It now becomes a positively charged silver ion. Lost an electron, makes it an ion. That extra electron that's out there flying around is grabbed up by some bromide. Bromide hangs onto it and says, oh, I'm a little more negative now that I have you with me, but that's okay. Well, it received another extra electron, that is going to make it an ion as well. Changes that to a bromine ion. Now, if you go ahead and recall our 3D image, now what it looks like? Now that we've seen that those wonderful little structures are arranged nice in a rectangle, this lineup like rockets with bromine and the silver ions, what about those other two? Well, the latent image spec, as well as the interstitial silver ions, are kind of scattered throughout that. So, it is also important to know that they're there because they're the ones responsible for our visible image. Very good. Now that we know the key players in this act, let's put them in action. As we are well aware, the Green Mod Theory takes place on film. Film goes inside of a cassette into our plate here, ready for our patient. Here is our patient, Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob threw his hurting screw into a PA of his ribs. So please, Rob, get in position. Thank you, sir. Rob, no, don't move. Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you all set up. I'm going to shoot x-ray photons straight through you, straight into my film. What's going to happen when the photons go through you? It's going to excite everything inside of there, and a bright light is going to hit the film. Then... The light freaks out the bromide ion, and that bromide ion just shakes around, and it tosses an electron out there, shoots that negative all the way across that... So we're bromide crystal until all of a sudden it runs and it hits into the late image site. That late image site is going to become negatively charged by, because we all know the electrons negatively charged, right? Because so now that poor late image site is just, that the late image site. Don't worry, everything's going to be all right because it's not floating around. That interstitial silver ion, he's positively charged. He's walking around. He's going to find that sad little guy, give him a great big bear hug. That's going to change him, counteract it, reset it. And guess what? that latent image site goes from negative back to neutral. Now this process repeats over and over and over and over and over again in that order. Why that order? I'll tell you why that order. Because think about it, if I throw a negative electron out there and throw a negative one right behind it, what's going to happen? A negative and a negative, oh, they don't go together. Positive and positive, oh, they don't go together. But a negative and a positive, <coughs> they go together. So that's going to happen. Throw a negative, positive comes. Negative, positive comes. And that's going to happen over and over and over again. Now, it's the interstitial silver ion that is responsible for the image. Therefore, it is the accumulation of all those silver ions on the latent image site that make the image for us to see. Now, just to recap that real fast. Silver bromide goes ahead and it spits out an electron when it gets hit by the light, <laughs> goes ahead and gets rid of it. Therefore, it's sucked up by the latent image site and turns negative. Our little bit of silver, the interstitial silver guy comes on over, gives us a great big bear hug, turns them back to neutral. The process happens over and over and over again. There's a chemical process, and we go ahead and make the image visible for the doctor to see, read, charge the patient, make us a little money. That is very much theory, wrapped up in two minutes for you. Let's get back to more pressing matters of school, finals, vacation. See ya.